Okay, then. Ender, so you want to just quit smoking? Yeah. When did you quit smoking? This morning. Okay, how do you feel about smoking now? I'm not too bad, no. Okay, because yesterday, before we did the session, what we've said is, is that I want you to make that conscious decision. I want you to say to yourself that you're not going to do it. So what did you do the first thing this morning? Cigarette. And what, did you, what did you do straight after that cigarette? Broke up about 10 or 11 in a box. So why did, did you, so why did you do that? Is it just... I made the decision that I've had enough, I just want to stop. Okay, cool. Um, for those people in the room, I'm doing a consultation, but the key thing that I want out of this at the moment is, is I just want you to remind me what your daughter's name is. Layla. Layla. Good old bit of Layla. Lovely. Lovely. Eric Clapton. Anyway, right, so that's the only way I'll remember it. Lovely. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to go um, through what I do in a smoking cessation. It can alter and it will, there are bits and bobs that I will alternate through, okay? Ready? Yeah. Ready to go into hypnosis? Yeah. Ready to start that life changing experience? 100%. You've been prepping yourself, you've been prepping yourself, and this is the moment in time that you're going to make that, that choice, okay? Happy? Yeah, perfect. Hands your legs. Nice big deep breath. All I want you to do now is, I just want you just to close your eyes. Good, good, good. Just allow that deep sense of hypnosis, that lovely sense of hypnosis, that beautiful sense of hypnosis, to go all the way from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. No. Just imagine what it feels like to allow that sensation of hypnosis to go all the way through your forehead, all the way through your eyes, into your chest, into your arms, into your hands, all the way down to the tips of your toes, and shoot all the way back up. And as it comes all the way back up, you're going to notice that lovely sense of hypnosis going all the way through your body. That hypnosis is going to keep going through your body now, until you go deeper and deeper into hypnosis, deeper than you've ever been before. See you already? What I want you to do now is I just want you to notice that that sensation of hypnosis is going around your eyes. Just notice that the, the muscles around your eyes are becoming loose, limp and lazy. Just imagine now what it feels like for your eyes to stick and glue and glue and stick and stick and glue together now. And as they stick and glue and glue and stick and stick and glue together now, when you know, and you know that they're stuck down, test them, but you're going to notice something. They're going to glue and glue and stick down. Go ahead and test them. That's it. That's it. And as you notice that hypnosis going all the way through your body now, just imagine what it feels like to go 10 times deeper, 20 times deeper, 30 times deeper, 40 times deeper, 50 times deeper, 60 times deeper, 70 times deeper, 80 times deeper, 90 times deeper, and 100 times deeper. With every heartbeat and every breath, you're going to go deeper and deeper and deeper into hypnosis. With every heartbeat and every breath, you're going to go deeper and deeper and deeper into hypnosis. Now, what I want Ender's subconscious to do, Ender's powerful, amazing subconscious to do, what I want Ender's powerful and amazing subconscious to do is I want Ender to release any of the tensions, the stress, the strains of life that may have been holding onto him. Those tensions, those stress, that strain that he's been holding onto. Just let it come off the top of his shoulders, off the top of his head, and any images, any feelings, any hurt, any pain that may be left behind. Just release it now. That's it, you're doing really well. That's it. Just let it go. There you go. Allow that pressure, that tension, that hurt, that pain to come off even more now. To give you that way of dealing with stress and tension. Those life hard things. Allow it to come off. So you can deal with pressure and tension better in future. And when you're done, and you know you're done, when you know you're done, and you're 
are ready to start a new chapter, a new life, when you're done, and only when you're done. As soon as you open your eyes, you're going to feel absolutely amazing on top of the world. And when you're ready, open your eyes and feel brand new. feel a bit stress free yeah normally in a session like that i could elongate it but because we've been on a course i know that he's been defragged already i know that we've had a good old clear out i could probably go for another half an hour doing this but i know that he's fairly well done and conditioned over the past couple of days okay so my de-stressing and my my metaphorical states that part there i will keep going for as long as necessary i just know he's had a good clear up so you can go for 10 20 30 minutes whatever you want it doesn't really matter it's like i said on my like on my weight as well most of it's about clearing out the stress and the strains of life and then moving on okay and then moving on to the subject matter of either smoking or or, or weight loss okay so move out all the crap of their lives and then come back and deal with the thing Ready? Yeah. Good. Hands on there. Just imagine that sleep going into the back of your eyelids now. Just drifting 10 times deeper, 20 times deeper, 30 times deeper, 40 times deeper, 50 times deeper. Relax now every single nerve muscle in your body now. I want your body to go 100 times deeper, 200 times deeper, 300 times deeper, 400 times deeper, 500 times, 600 times, 700 times, 800 times, 900 times thousand times deeper now and as you go deeper and deeper into hypnosis what i want you to do now is i want you to go to that special place i want you to go to somewhere that's really really good for you that you know that your subconscious your powerful imagination your powerful mind can make those life changing those life changing changes today and when you're there just nod good 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 what i want ender's powerful subconscious to do now is ender's powerful subconscious is on this hand, I want you to indicate an, by moving any finger or thumb an answer for no, do it now. Good, thank you very much. And on this hand, I want you to indicate any, by moving any finger or thumb, an answer for yes, do it now. Good, thank you very much. That's it. Like, thank the subconscious, now allow it just to relax. That's it. That's it. And just relax. Thank you very much. What I'd like you to do now is I want your powerful subconscious to Help us to promote your life, to preserve your life, and to get rid of that dirty, disgusting, poisonous habit that you've, that you've developed of smoking. Is it possible today for Ender's subconscious to release any tension, any stress, any strain, that repetitional work that he's been doing, that smoking, that disgusting habit, is it possible today for Ender's subconscious to support him? And Good, thank you very much. What I'd like Ender's subconscious to do now while we're in this place is to promote Ender and Layla in future and all of his, the loved ones around him. Is I want Ender's subconscious now to, to make those modify, those, modify those patterns and change those patterns and remove the desire and the urges for the cigarettes. And I want Ender's subconscious now to make those changes so it removes cigarettes from his life now. And as he makes those changes, just indicate yes. And when your subconscious is done, just nod. Go ahead. Any conflict? 
almost his subconscious to resolve it and then move on and move forward. wanting to smoke and kill yourself. It's being removed to promote you and Layla's life for future. And when you're done, there you go. Just remove all those blockages. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. Just imagine, you never did smoke. Good, and when you're done and you're ready, just open your eyes. Just feelings. Yeah, definitely. As soon as you said Layla, it was it was gone. The power of using the loved ones everything against my I use it. Use it. Ready? Yeah. Alex? Just imagine that sleep going into the back of your eyelids now, just imagine it. That's it, just release it. Oh I don't then hypnosis there, hypnosis deeper, 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 deeper down. What I want the subconscious to do now is, is just allow you to remove any last remnants, any last things that have got to do with smoking. I want you to do that now. I want your subconscious to release the urges, get rid of the temptation, completely and utterly dispose of it. In fact, you never want it, you never will want it. In fact, the thought of ever having a cigarette will that again. Having a cigarette again, knowing it's gonna break Layla's heart, watching her daddy. And then as her daddy, you're teaching her that dirty, disgusting habit. You are teaching her that dirty, disgusting habit and showing her the way of how to be a dirty, disgusting smoker. And every time you look at Layla, from now on, being that good dad you are, that proud dad you are, that loving father you are, you're gonna to wanna to teach her better ways to be that guy to her in life. And by stopping smoking, you're gonna teach her the power of your mind and how you could do it so quickly. And you're also gonna teach her how to be healthier. And every time you look at Layla, you're gonna remind yourself of that. subconscious to remember that smoking is something that you taught yourself to be. You haven't always been a smoker, you weren't born a smoker. You taught yourself. You taught yourself one day. You taught yourself wanting to be in a group, wanting to fit in with others and wanting to do stuff. And be part of a gang, be part of that pod, be part of that group. But today's the day that you realise that those childish mistakes that happened years ago have now gone. 
what you can do is as an adult, as a grown up, you can make those changes today. And when you've made that choice, and you've made that choice to quit smoking, when you've made that choice, just open your eyes. close your eyes for a second. What I want you to do now is I want your powerful subconscious, your powerful subconscious to go back to that first ever cigarette you had now. When you got it, just nod. Okay, what I want you to do now is I just want you to go back, look at it, visualize it, hear what's going on and, and maybe sense what's going on around there and maybe are there any other senses, hidden senses that may be there, anything that may be there that brings back that moment. And I want you to remember that first ever cigarette. And I want you to remember what it feels like to bring that cigarette up to your mouth for the first time and see what your body does. I want you to feel that first ever draw, that <laughs> feeling that probably hit the back of your throat. That, <laughs> that I'm gonna be, and feel that harsh smoke hitting the back of your throat and hit that, that smoke going into your lungs and start to choke you and make you probably feel sick. And I want you to notice that sensation now. I want your subconscious to go back to that first ever experience of having a cigarette. And I want you to notice that that there, that vomiting sensation, that puking sensation, that reject cigarette sensation is there. And when you got it, just notice it now intensifying and intensifying and intensifying. What I want you to do now so I want you to notice what it's like to start choking on a cigarette. You're not going to be sick, you will not be physically sick, but you're going to feel every single thing. I want you to notice that physical sickness start to reappear. As it reappears now, just notice it now, just turning up and turning up and turning up and turning up and turning up until that burning sensation, that dirty tobacco in the back of your throat and that gut-wrenching feeling, you're going to be sick all over the place and it just feel that water going into the back of your throat and just as you were smoking that cigarette, that dirty, disgusting cigarette, that hateful cigarette, that one that's been poisoning your body as you just take more in. Notice how your body rejects cigarettes now. Just notice it now as it just rejects and rejects those cigarettes now. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke. Just notice it now. Just notice it going through your body now. The next time, the next time that you look at a packet of fags, smell cigarettes or even pick up a cigarette, this sensation that you're experiencing now this sensation that you're experiencing now, this vomiting feeling, this harshness, this hatred moment is going to return and it will come back. If you pick up a cigarette or sell some cigarette smoke, it's going to make you want to feel sick. So sick, powerfully sick, it's going to be horrendously sick. You just don't want to do it. Your body's going to reject cigarettes. Your body's just going to reject them. You can absolutely hate cigarettes. It doesn't want cigarettes. It hates cigarettes. It does not want cigarettes. Just notice it now. But when you've made that choice, when you've made that choice, when you've made that choice, and you know that you no longer want to smoke, you're no longer a smoker, when you've made that choice, and you know that taste will fade away, it will fade away. But the next time you pick up a cigarette, or you even look at a cigarette, or even think about having a cigarette, it's gonna bring this horrendous vomiting sensation all the way up, from the bowels you go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Good, good, good. And allow it just to fade away now, but the next time you think about having a cigarette, it's gonna do it. When you're ready, and you're ready to be this new person in this new chapter, no longer needing that stupid, pathetic cigarette anymore, knowing that that dirty, vomiting thing that you keep putting in your mouth is gone. When you open your eyes, those sensations in your mouth that disappear until the next time you pick up a cigarette or even smell cigarette smoke. When you're ready, open your eyes. Be good. <clears throat> gonna, normally I'd pick up a packet of fags. Okay, close your eyes. Put your hands out in front of you. All I want you to do now is I just want you to imagine there's a cigarette, in, just one hand, buddy. Just leave this one up. Just imagine you've got a cigarette in your hand. Just imagine you've got a cigarette in your hand, bring it up to your mouth. Just imagine drawing that cigarette in now. How's that feel? <clears throat> Horrible. And just take another big drag and just feel that choking sensation in your lungs now. How's that feel? 
So I just don't fucking want it there, to be honest. It's a good job this isn't a product. But the thing is though, is that that's it, you can feel that vomit sensation come up again. Good, good, good. But what I'm going to do now is I just want to take another drag now. How's that feel? Caught up my throat. I just find it hard to breathe down with it. Okay. Okay, take another drag. And just imagine Layla smoking in front of you now. Look at what you're teaching her. And that's the that hurt, that pain, that guilt. That hurt, that pain, that guilt. That hurt, that pain, that guilt. I've known that even when she's not even with you, she'll smell the tobacco, she'll know that the tobacco's been around and just feel that guilt going through your body now. When you know that you're no longer a smoker, open your eyes. How's that feel? Uh, How's that feel? I feel good now. Okay, good, good. I mean, I could end it there, but I want to compound it some more and show you some different techniques to make sure that we've compounded it, okay? So I'm just going to pause this for a second, and then we're going to go for part two. Yeah, perfect. What's well, the ultimate lock? I mean, the ultimate? Yeah. My, my friend did both. Yeah. Okay. Made, made it heavy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bump it up again, we're going to do some more, we're going to reinforce the work we've just done, okay? Hands on your legs, all I want you to do now is just sleep deeper, 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 deeper down. Good, all I want you to do now is just drift even deeper, drift even deeper, drift even deeper, 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 deeper. So what I'm doing is going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, reinforcing, 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 okay, and going back. What I want you to do now and then is I just want you to go deeper and deeper into it nice. I just want you to imagine that old classical laying on a bed, just imagine your leg drifting away on that bed. But this time, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine you're really comfortable you're laying there. And I want you to notice as you lay there now comfortably, I want you to notice that around you, around you, there's peace, calm and tranquility. And around that, 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 that hospital bed is peace, calm and tranquility. But what I want you to do now is just notice to your left and to your right, there's machinery, there's noises, there's the, the usual hospital noises of the, 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 the nurses in the background and the pinging of the, the noises. And, and when you've got that, just nod. And I want you to look at the end of the bed. And I want you to notice that there's somebody starting to appear. And I want you to notice now that as that person comes out and hits the end of the bed, it's Layla. And Layla's looking at you. And you soon realise that you're laying on that hospital bed. And that hospital bed is your last place. And you notice that Layla is there, and she's crying, and she's angry, and she's upset and you're angry and upset that that day, today, you continue to smoke.
Just relax. You have a choice today. And that could all change with this simple choice. This simple, simple choice of not allowing those cigarettes to control your life anymore. Now you can choose that way of sitting there in that hospital bed, staying in that hospital bed, or you can make a choice today, now, to give up that dirty, disgusting, poisonous, dirty, disgusting, poisonous sensation and choose to take a baby on a beautiful holiday or go somewhere else with a no and feel that love, that joy, that happiness, that bit that you've been missing and start to return back to your life. No. Good luck. Now when you've made that lifestyle choice, that, that choice that really puts the nail in the coffin today, that really changes everything for you today, knowing that you no longer smoke, you no longer will smoke, knowing that you're gonna do it for Layla, that love of your life, that little girl, Knowing that you've made that choice now. Knowing you're going to do it for her. Knowing that all those sensations, all those emotions that belong to cigarettes are going to start dissipating and disappearing over the next few hours, the next few days, the next few weeks, the next few months. In fact, if you ever go near, if you go near another cigarette ever again, that dirty, disgusting flavour will tip up and that thought of later straight ahead will be there. Knowing that you're letting it down. But what I want you to do now is what I want you to do now is I want you to make that choice. And when you've done that, just open your eyes. Good, good, good. Okay, just a quick question. <clears throat> when you think about Layla, um, no, that pride father, that pride and all that lot, how does it make you feel? Brilliant. Good, what colour is that? Red. Put it in your heart. Good, good, good. Put that red in there now, just turn it all the way up. What I want you to do now is that red, that love, that absolute greatness going in there, about that pride. That Daddy loved that, you know that bit we're on about, you know that bit there. What I want you to do now is every time you see the colours red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white or black, any time you see the colours red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white or black, any time you see the colours red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white or black, just imagine what it feels like for that sensation to come all the way up. Just imagine it there, that whole sensation, all of those there and every time you think about it and that love, that joy, that happiness that you and Layla have got, that daddy love, that, that only what only a parent can understand there. Knowing that you're doing this for her today, not only just for her, but for yourself. And as you start to just change those ways in life now, there you go. And as it all just starts to come out now, there you go. Okay, if I was to just say to you now, close your eyes, lift your hand up, put a cigarette in your hand. And I just want you to put, bring that cigarette to your mouth. As it gets closer and closer, just notice those, in, those emotions intensify until you want to stop. Do I want to? Why not? I guess I just, uh, I just don't. How does it make it's you feel? I can feel that shitty feeling here, yeah? That shitty feeling is just going to keep it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The more and more you think about smoking or you ever think again, that shitty feeling is going to turn up there. Okay, put the cigarette down. Okay, pick the same cigarette up, bring it up towards, see how close you can get it this time. What have we got now? I'm just not going to do it. Just... I don't want it. You don't want it? No. Good. Every time, my friend, that you think about it, now from now on, you're going to live your life, you're going to have a perfect life, you're going to have that life that you want, that one that you choose. Without cigarettes, no cigarettes, you don't need it anymore. In fact, you find it the most repulsive, disgusting thing you've ever thought of before. In fact, every time you see the colours red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, any time you see the colours red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, any time you see the colours red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, or black, it's going to remind yourself that you're no longer a smoker. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. In fact, you're going to change it to Every day is a new day, a positive day and a confident day. Every day is a new day, a positive day and a confident day. Every day is a new day, a positive day and a confident day. Every day from now on is a new day, a positive day and a confident day. And you're going to get off your backside and get out there and do the things you want to do. Knowing that today, when you open your eyes this next time, you are going to open a chapter in your life and you're going to start enjoying life. 
known that you no longer smoke. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. When you're ready to open that new chapter, open your eyes. Hey, made a box of <laughs> Good man. Hand that filled with them, them journeys, them steps that we went through. It was up and down when, at the start, it was very emotional. But then when you were kind of saying that you don't want them, I could feel myself just feeling brilliant. Even when you were saying, Nayla, I was still feeling better. But at the start, Jesus. There's one thing about smokers, and there's many different approaches, I find being a very vicious git works. Passive aggressive. I've used the biggest tool against him and anchored it. And that bit at the very end where I got him to smoke and got Layla to smoke. Because don't forget, as, as parents, as guardians, we teach our children our habits. Bear in mind that we're still in this session here. And when we are adults, we teach our children those things and by continuing doing them, what happens is we continue to teach, like Layla, you, by, if you was to walk out of here today and think about it, the fierce phobias or anything like that, we teach them how to do them, certain elements. But if you're teaching them to smoke, how does it make you feel? Horrible. It's the worst fucking thing in the world to me. Sorry, excuse my language. But I never want to see her doing that. But as a parent now knowing that you're teaching her that, how does it make you feel? Oh shit, guilty, horrible. Hmm. So how does it feel now knowing that you're going to leave this chair in a moment and that sensation of smoking behind, knowing that you're going to teach her to have a healthy life, a positive life and a confident life? Excellent. It's completely different. It's just... I don't know, it just feels... I can't explain that, it just feels fucking brilliant. But... It's a lightness, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Now what I could have done in there as well is I could have used a lot of kinetic shift, I could have used a lot of the other techniques and stuff like that, okay, but I've just gone for a basic, you know how to do kinetic shift now. What I'm saying is that I could have thrown that in there. I just gave you lots of different metaphors and different ideas. The hospital bed is the most painful one that they're gonna see. At the consultation, find out who are the loved ones. I've had people tell me they're puppies. I've had people tell me they're cat. Whatever it is, it don't care. That hospital bed was oh, horrendous. That was the worst part of the whole lot of it. I'm throwing that guilt all the way in there. It is guilt, 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 guilt. Some people may disagree with it. Works for me. Works for my clients. That's all I need to know. Guilt, guilt, guilt. Throw it in. You can do this. When you watch this back, chop and change, go backwards and forwards. But like I said at the very beginning, I'd normally do a complete night of detox, mental detox first, then I'll start going into the smoking element, okay? Once I know that I've got a de-stress, we knew that at the very beginning of this, that he was cleared out already, I would have taken a lot more time. But for this demonstration, literally short space, but then all of a sudden lots and lots of different things. The hospital bed, the watching Layla smoke, the embedding, you're teaching her how to do this. How does it feel that you're teaching her how to do that? That is going to go box straight to anyone. Of course it is. I don't care who you are. You hit somebody in the kahunas with that type of stuff. Don't work. Right. And then lots of anchoring, lots of anchoring. Like I said, the snooker table. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white or black. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white or black. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white or black. It will remind you no longer of smoking. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. You never did smoke, you never will smoke, you never can smoke, it's gone. I mean, in my question at the very beginning, I'll be finding out how many fangs they've gone from. And don't forget, if they if, if they found out a week beforehand, they'll be finding out and getting them to slow their ciggies down, like I did with him. During the week, I'll be making them slow down. Till today, giving them that as well, okay? So he's gonna slow all the way down, then we hit him today, and guilt, 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 until eventually he realizes. Like that first ever cigarette as well, taking that all the way back. Taking you back to when you put that first ever fag in your mouth and you went <laughs> using all those noises and that <laughs> that noise there and that, uh, that water in the back of your mouth like you're bitten into a lemon. 
Think about them sensations there when you're doing this, all of that roughness on the tongue, that watery sensation there and all that. All right? They're all the things you do. Well done, buddy. Thank you very much. Well done, bro. And get out of the chair, no smoker. <laughs> well done. Very good.